we look at <clears throat> holistic lifestyle the part of holistic lifestyle today you will understand about the the present crisis the humanity is going through physical life so that is global warming right so many of you might have heard about this global warming so welcome to you all of you to this holistic lifestyle part of holistic life today we are learning about global warming what is global warming refers to <clears throat> in fact it is the entire the environment the nature and the total globe itself nothing but you know it is warming up it is warming up its temperatures are rising so year on year on year season to season the temperatures are rising up and no level. so there are no um, <clears throat> so called there are no forecast nothing is working out in fact even the scientists and you know so many many people are working but it has gone to the un uncontrolled manner right now my dear friends so with which you know we are the humanity is going to suffer a lot in the future already we are suffering at this point of time so let's understand what are the different reasons for this global warming the global warming as such is causing the little temperature rise it means about 2 to 5 degrees centigrade in the on the globe as such the temperature is rising up it's already raised okay so due to what are the reasons there are many reasons so uh, so there are so many reasons so due to which this uh, global warming happens but there are three gases basically so the, these three gases will be collected and it, it exists in the atmosphere all the times so they are not going away there are no there is no way to escape so all these three gases there is no way for them to escape out of the environment so the reasons are many so we'll try to understand little by little so one by one we'll understand again so what are the, what are these three gases which are causing global warming the first gas is carbon dioxide co2 second was in methane ch4 and nitrous oxide n2o so these are the three gases so they they are generated due to various sources and they just get to the atmosphere they are trapped in the atmosphere so what they do is whenever the sun say that means sun energy comes sun rays comes so those, those sun rays will be captured will be will be trapped and will be captured and that will be stored in this all this you know the gases all the gases elements which present in the atmosphere so they capture and keep it they don't release it to the atmosphere so that's that's what that's what the problem so if there are no such number of gases are exist in the atmosphere so the sun rays comes and then it comes to the it comes to the earth as such the earth it comes and then reflect back and it goes whatever it comes here and then it will be released back also it goes beyond the space beyond the the stratosphere the all this you know troposphere all this but what is happening here so this troposphere stratosphere we have a lot of uh, these pollutants these gases which are, which, are, which are coming into the atmosphere which are very much existing so because the day to day the pollution is increasing so day to day a lot of uh, the industry is lot of you know transportation the kind of uh, the electricity generation so the way we are generating these gases are you know very ra very rampant it's going it's going on increasing the year on year and uh, so friends so due to this what happened so these gases are existing in the atmosphere they trap the atmosphere they, they trap the sunlight they keep it it means always they'll be having it that uh, particular uh, the sun or uh, the sun heat so that heat energy will be trapped in the these molecules all these gases molecules so when it is trapped it is inside the atmosphere then your earth will be always heated up the earth the atmosphere it is there in the atmosphere of the earth so obviously the temperature what we feel on the earth planet is always higher and higher you observe the winter rain and even the summer all the times all the seasons this particular temperature is always high even bangalore so before 20 years back it was so much raining here it was raining all the all the seasons in fact so now what happened so due to the global warming effect so the now the and also the lot of green cover is removed so due to the urbanization so with all these things what's happening is the amount of rains have been have come down heavily and uh, at the same time even the winter 
the uh, rainy season and the summer all the times heat is very high so in fact we were not having much of use of uh, air conditioning in bangalore now so it has turned into the situation that every time all the time throughout the year you must have the air conditioning if you are traveling in the car or anything outside so without having air conditioning in the outside when you are traveling you won't be able to feel comfortable such is the highest temperature is become my dear friends so the same case the globe throughout the all the cities so the major cities cosmopolitan cities across the globe so they are feeling the same the every way the temperature rise so what are the so what are the reasons what are the consequences and then what are the uh, kind of a uh, so called uh, the precautions the how we are going to control so these the things step by step we will try to understand about the global warming so without we control this there are so many bad consequences which are going to happen and especially the kind of earth this as such so we are we have to save the soil then it will save us save the planet earth then it will save us isn't it so the same similarly whatever whatever we hand out to the next generation it must be at least you no know, the fruitful it must be having something some resources all the things kept proper and then hand out to the next generation so, but if you do if you do continue like this so there is nothing to hand over them we are going to hand over the destruction but for the all the next generation my dear friends so let's see what are the reasons for the global warming so these are the so few reasons five reasons we are given here so there are maybe another reason so many reasons may be there so the, well, the first reason is burning of fossil fuels friends all the fossil fuels it means your petrol diesel coal isn't it natural gas all these things for the sake of energy production transportation industrial for industrial for process so for all these things we generate lot of uh, you know we try to use these fossil fuels these oils which are especially these are non renewable oils okay so non renewable energy basically so by using this it produces lot of co2 emissions it means it generate lot of carbon dioxide see for example you are taking a motor vehicle you know car yeah, whatever car may be bus or truck car your motor your motor bike whatever it may be all these they use this fossil fuel either petrol or diesel then it generates co2 all the co2 particles will go into the it will be released into the atmosphere they very much exist in the environment so it continues so so this that's what that's what happens these co2 particles they trap the heat and they keep it they keep it they won't release into the atmosphere because the density of these particles is so huge right now in the same way there is a ozone layer a ozone layer you might have heard o3 so it's o2 is oxygen o3 is ozone layer so this ozone layer is also getting punctured friends so it is getting punctured already so in the atmosphere what's happening is because of this all this uh, uh, the so called uh, the so many gases the ch4 co2 and n2o so what's happening is these are causing so harm that uh, you know this uh, especially ozone layer ozone layer is the actually a protective layer for the entire earth my dear friends without ozone layer presence all the ultraviolet rays which are the harmful rays which comes and hit the earth the moment they hit the earth so they hit the human being also then we may get lot of cancers the skin cancer so many things happens but in order to protect us from this from this ultraviolet rays the dreadful rays from the sun energy from the sun what it comes the ozone layer is the only the protective layer for the entire earth which is provided by the god which is provided by the our existence friends so this is also getting disturbed now that's also getting punctured because of the heavy amount of this the all these uh, dreadful gases which is released into the atmosphere so now let's see the what is the other reason deforestation friends cutting down the all this forest you no know, uh, on the on the planet on the planet earth what we are doing so we are doing a deforestation for so many reasons out of urbanization and also i can tell you so there is another reason that you know uh, the urban, the deforestation is going heavily uh, let's say amazon forest so if you take an amazon forest almost so they are doing lot of you know the deforestation is doing there the amazon forest is, as such is a heart or you can say it's a lung lung for the entire earth my dear friends most of our oxygen comes from the amazon forest so you think that amazon what uh, whatever the oxygen you are uh, breathing uh, what you are breathing right now the oxygen you may be thinking that it, you are getting it just by from your surroundings so from your surroundings maybe in your surrounding there may be trees there may not be trees 
right who produces the oxygen all the time so if you see if you go to the urban cities so where are the trees the trees are no more existing all the streets are filled with the concrete concrete jungle it's a it became a concrete jungle everywhere concrete buildings even the people who are building the newly constructing the buildings also they never think about planting any trees so they are not at all worried so they don't find important it is okay but in fact one tree he can supply the oxygen equal to the number of poor poor number of people for the entire one family the uh, one tree is there it will produce sufficient amount of oxygen that we need to understand this is the these are science okay what science has observed it they told us so but one thing you need to remember so this effort is not at all going on and nobody is bothered friends even the government is not bothered individuals are not bothered so everybody wanted you know in the fast world they wanted a gain and you know the kind of comfortability and you know growing you know the name fame all these things they're just uh, in the rat race of all these things but they never worry about the environment they never worry about their future so now so with this i'm, I'm trying to say the amazon forest itself they are they are devastating uh, for the reason for like they want to grow the livestock animal food so that means for the non vegetarian food non vegetarian companies they are growing huge amount of uh, the soya beans and all these things by cutting up the forest of amazon so with, with which you know what happens our whatever the oxygen we are taking today so in future we may need to purchase the oxygen also my dear friends we come to that position the reason is we don't plant any trees as such the <clears throat> amazon forest is the responsible to provide the oxygen for the entire planet earth itself such is the the so huge forest trees so that also we are doing deforestation which is very you know the tragic situation my dear friends we are going to face very the huge crisis we are going to face so these are the other reason, one reason of you know deforestation is going to cause the global warming when the deforestation happens so what happens there are no trees who absorb the co2 from the atmosphere so when the co2 is not absorbed by atmosphere from the atmosphere by any of the things then deforestation means plants are not there plants only can absorb the co2 so they are also not existing then the co2 doesn't absorb anywhere it just exists in the atmosphere which causes the the heating in the temperature then the temperature will keep rising in the atmosphere so now the other thing is agriculture practices friends agriculture practices became such a way that now for example you are going you are growing the agriculture means you mean to say like normal agriculture what are the chemical chemical agriculture people are doing uh, our farmers are growing and farmers are growing with the chemicals based on chemical fertilizer chemical pesticides so what is happening is there they are also going to produce lot of gases okay harmful gases that is also one the other thing is so oh, these poultry farms and they are you know for the non vegetarian purpose they are doing uh, you know like this they also call it as a poultry farming or sheep farming goat farming so all this they do so these animals they produce lot of you know their their excretion their excreta whatever it, they they do the excretion right a excretion is going to produce lot of methane yeah, that is this uh, nh4 so that uh, methane is also going to be the harmful element my dear friend the harmful element this methane is going to be going to the atmosphere heavily because of this agriculture the bad agriculture practices so livestock growing all these things so we need to be careful this uh, methane is a very harmful gas which is also going to go into the atmosphere heavily so and other thing is industrial process similar see the uh, the industry is kind of a one one example i am telling cement industry it uh, consumes lot of you know a heavy amount of uh, the <clears throat> energy it will be consuming and then it also uh, try to absorb or it tries to use lot of fuels fossil fuels it may be using uh, this uh, kind of a diesel or a whatever you know the your coal or whatever it is it uses then it produces lot of co2 into the atmosphere cement industry so that kind of many other the large scale industries may be there they all will be producing this kind of a co2 into the atmosphere by consume by uh, by burning the fossil fuels now friends other thing is land use changes that means in urbanization because so out of the urbanization what is rapidly growing all the from all the villages they are all farmers are you know feeling that uh, agriculture is no more useful so they are leaving the agriculture and most of the laborers are practicing their agriculture and the all owners of the farm all owners of the farming so they are just leaving the agriculture practices and then coming and settling in the cities along with their children the reason is the agriculture is no more a profitable thing so it has become like that because of the chemical bombing which we will discuss in the future 
in the next future classes, we will be discussing about spiritual farming, my dear friends. So, land use, urbanization and all these uh, kind of uh, things which is driving towards the population increase and then cutting off the entire, you know, whatever the trees are existing in the cities and all this thing, which is going to cause the increase in the CO2, right? So, that exists in the environment, this causes the temperature rise that is called global warming. These are the few reasons, my dear friends. So, what are the consequences of this global warming? What will happen if the global warming is increasing? So let's see the what are the consequences, bad consequences which humanity is going to suffer or the all other species on the earth planet is going to suffer. So now rising temperature. The average global temperatures are increasing, leading more frequent and severe heat waves. You know, the all already this is going to be this going on in the different countries, my dear friends. So in the different countries, even in India also, in the in the hot summer. The heat waves go such a way that in this last year also, the next year will be much more severe. But the heat waves which has caused many of the people to die because the dehydration will happen heavily because of the heat waves. Okay, So then without having a water content in the body, the body will be obviously it goes into the so it, it will get down that all the energy energy levels go down so slowly slowly the the people you know the, they lose their life also because of this heavy heavy amount of heat which they are so it's facing in the atmosphere so friends this is one of the reasons the melting ice and rising sea levels higher temperature causes you know the polar ice caps and glaciers to melt resulting in rising sea levels which can lead to the, the coastal flooding and erosion my dear friends so here we are we have to notice very important point here is all the coastal cities so called the big big cities like california this this kind of you know chennai mumbai you know the vijayawada so they very very the, you know lot of uh, big cities are there cosmopolitan cities so these cities are going to face a huge crisis because of the heavy amount of rising in the sea levels happens because of what the melting ice when the, when the ice in the ice in the north pole and north pole and south pole these poles at the poles whatever the ice is there ice was in the uh, solid form now it is getting melted because of the rising in temperature on the in the environment so when it is when the ice is melting so what exactly happens is it keep melting means what it does the amount of uh, the, after the melting the water comes out which go and add into the sea the sea levels are rising the sea level waters are rising so this is going to cause if at all there is only three meter rise of the water let's say just three meter rise of water which is going to completely you know the cities which are just suggested to the all the sea, the seas they are they are going to be flooded they are going to be submerged under the sea my dear friends so such is the danger which is going to be poor sea so that's why we have to be careful about the global farming global warming then extreme weather events friends because of this global warming, the extreme weather events are happening. Either the heavy rain or no rain or the earthquakes or so many calamities. All these are happening because of the, the imbalance what is created, especially in the nature. The amount of this, you know, the pollutant uh, pollutants which are existing in the temperature, the, in the atmosphere, the temperature is keep on rising. So this temperature is going to cause sometimes, you know, the timely rains, no timely rains, heavy rains, low, no, no rains at all. So this is what causing is causing actually the severe damage to the the even farmers also impact. So nowadays the farmers are suffering because of the rain has to come at whatever the time it has to come right time the timely rain will never come because of the the <coughs> changes in the atmosphere. So all these environmental changes basically happened already because of these extreme weather conditions. Okay, right. So this is how we need to understand. This is also a dangerous thing. So, in future, what happens is, friends, if this continue, if this continues, the farmers are unable to grow, and the farmers are unable to get the harvest in time. And then, what we need to do is, we need to start eating only processed foods. There is no other, there is no natural food available. The natural food just for the grain, just to get, you know, like uh, get a amount of grains, a small amount of grains. Also, we need to fight. Whatever the amount you have, see thousands of rupees and lakhs of rupees, but you may not be able to purchase one kg rice if this continues like this. Okay, so this damage continues for the farmers. It's going to be much more dangerous. So that's why we need to protect this environment by protecting all the sources which are generating the CO2 and other elements. Okay, now ocean acidification. So this is Sagara. That is so that I mean Samudra. So it's getting acidified. 
The reason is, see, whatever the CO2 exists in the atmosphere around the sea, it is going to absorb the CO2 into the water. So that's that's why that's how what happened as the water gets acidified. So then water became acidic. What, what happens is the the creatures, this all the creatures, the marine creatures which are existing in under the water, they are getting damaged. That means they are getting destroyed. So they are getting killed, my dear friends, because of the excessive CO2 present in the, the sea water, okay, which is also a dangerous thing. Yeah, which is dangerous, which is going to cause the huge imbalance for the the all this, you know, the ecosystem. Okay. Now, see the other thing is ecosystem disruption. Yes, species are forced to adapt to or migrate as their habitats change, potentially causing biodiversity loss. In the cities, you observe. So, because of urbanization, what happening? What's happening? So they are cutting up the trees. So many things are happening. Then what happened? So because of that, so many of the birds they are vacating their you know places from the cities. They are no, they are going very far from the cities. The reason is in the cities they can't stay anymore because their habitats are removed. Their habitats are disturbed. So not only that, my dear friends. So they also they are also not able to get the water to drink. They are, of course, they are not able to get the any food to eat because in the cities nothing will be there except some wastage and unnecessary things. You know they throw human being throw. Otherwise, nobody is ready to put any food for the this you know all these uh, birds and animals and especially and they in fact the natural water also not available for available for them because many of the lakes were present in the cities which were you know like uh, uh, the pure water was there earlier. Nowadays all the lakes are filled with the sewage water. So as there is a sewage water, in fact, the birds and you know animals they are unable to clean drink the clean water. That is why they are not they are they are having a scarcity of water. They slowly leave the cities and they are migrating so that these bio biodiversity biodiversity loss is going to be huge, my dear friends. Now the health impacts. What are the health impacts? The glo global warming can cause a lot of health problems such as heat related illnesses. And spread the diseases carried by vectors of like mosquitoes, virus, bacteria. See, the, in the recent times, we suffered a lot because of the COVID virus. So, these viruses will be erupted from the environment only. From the environment only, these kind of viruses will be erupted. So, when they are erupted, what will happen is the human doesn't have the human being doesn't have the resistance power. So, in order to resist any kind of a virus or bacteria, we don't have resistance power sufficiently because of our own food style, lifestyle has damaged the resistance power already. So, because of that, the, the human being has to suffer a lot if we continue to increase these temperatures in the environment. So, these are the consequences of global warming, my friends. Now, what are the efforts we are going to take, we have taken in order to combat the global warming? So, one simple uh, the effort which all of us as an individual first we think, we think as an individual, then we think a state as an individual, we think a nation as another, another entity. So, like that, state entity, state is one entity, they have to coordinate, and all the states together they have to coordinate with the, with the country, the, the capital, and with the current, all the, the country, one country to other country, they have to coordinate. All the work put together, so many 200 plus, whatever the countries are there, they all have to coordinate each other. Then, ultimately, what happened? It, it, it is becoming actually a global phenomenon. It's a global effort has to be played in place, my dear friends. It doesn't happen, you know, in with one uh, one state or one city or whatever. One city, one state, or one country, whatever you do, so it does it's not going to work at all because it's a cumulative effort. See the globe or environment, environment belongs to all the countries. Okay. So if anybody, if anybody, one particular country is emanating lot of gases like this, you know, all the uh, poisonous gases into the atmosphere that are, that is going to impact the other country also because we all live under the single roof, under the single space, isn't it? So that's why we have to be careful. <clears throat> anyway, as an individual, what can be done? So what you have to do is you have to use all the eco-friendly products, eco-friendly food products, eco-friendly usable things. Okay, you have to do that. Secondly, most second and most important is you must plant minimum one tree for one person, or at least one tree for one family. You must grow with like you know how you grow your children. So you are giving so much importance for your children, isn't it? So you are giving a utmost important, utmost care for your children. Same care and same care and sharing, and you have to share all the your you know your water, your whatever the thing you have to share with the plant you have to share that and at the same time you have to carry it so like that what you do you plant one tree and you carry it 
and you grow it like a child like a child the reason is this uh, particular tree is going to give oxygen equal to the poor people so when it is giving oxygen to the poor people we can find or you can think of you know how much importance is there in your life so without you get so one thing i already explained in the previous times so without having a food you can stay up to 10 days without having a water you can stay for 3 days without having a uh, oxygen proper oxygen into your own body then you cannot stay not even 1 or 2 3 minutes okay if at all you are doing the best pranayama you can stay for 5 minutes more than 5 minutes you cannot survive here okay so that is why friends so you need to you keep start you know you, you keep doing again agni hotra as an individual keep doing agni hotra so that every agni hotra hunda you know that uh, particular uh, agni hotra practice one time you do in the house morning or evening whatever it is going to generate one ton of oxygen my dear friends it is going to generate one ton of oxygen when you burn the the like, so called cow, cow dung cakes desi cow dung cakes desi cow ghee and with bija if you are you know if you are if you are doing the agni hotra in a agni hotra practice every day in your house itself but you are going to do the save you are going to do the lot of seva lot of help to the entire environment so, you know in the way that you are generating one ton of oxygen out of this agni hotra not only your house is filled with oxygen it is also going to generate into the atmosphere the same oxygen is useful for the all other surrounding houses surrounding atmosphere and the, all the human beings you know so likewise so you are doing agni hotra means you are doing a great service to the humanity or to the, the nature my dear friends you need to understand this carefully so likewise the other uh, other important thing is one important thing is i already told the first thing so you must not resort to use any non eco friendly products non eco friendly foods second one is plant a one plant has to be grown like a child in your house in your surrounding of your house or near to close to your house maybe on the road also but it must be close to your house okay one plant must be watered properly give give water the food it, it requires right it needs a, a natural manure give it to that okay take care of it it has to grow well along with you like you know along your child child how is growing day by you know year on year so it has to grow like you know child it has to grow continuously okay then it will take care of your health it will take care of your all the oxygen requirement for your all the four members or five members in the family now third one is so third one is the most important thing is so along with this uh, plant growing all these things you must also be doing agni hotra practice agni hotra practice must be continued so when you do that you are going to generate huge amount of oxygen you are going to do lot of seva to the environment and to yourself so this is the as an individual must do this practice spreads okay as in a society as in a whole so what are the other things we can practice we just let's observe let's learn one by one so reducing greenhouse gas emissions implementing policies and practices to decrease emission from energy production transportation industry and land use so whatever we are all using this fossil fuels everything right so start cutting out start cutting down for example you have metro station you have metro line so what you do you you, you have to leave your bike or you have to uh, leave your car in your house only you should take a metro and go to the office and come back so this is how you can just you know go on you go on cutting cutting on the carbon footprint okay this carbon footprint of a, each person must be reduced like you know so as an individual how much carbon i am going to generate on a day basis right so that has to come down slowly slowly you have to cut down many of the requirements of you know using this fossil fuel the maybe petrol maybe diesel you know all these things put together you must you must you know keep cutting down in your own life in your own day to day life my dear friends so do that so as much as possible you know the so lot of fossil fuels are used as we already uh, discussed so in the industries for the industry point of view transportation point of view all these the requirements come down requirement must be coming down okay so that's one of the uh, precaution we need to take and uh, <clears throat> so the, so that the greenhouse ga greenhouse gases especially to co2 nh4 n2o all these you no know, methane gas everything will be reduced okay now transitioning to the renewable energy so what we need to do so instead of the fossil fuels and coal see we use till now also many of the places in, in our country itself they use coal for generation of the power electrical, electrical energy which is really bad okay it's going to generate lot of co2 into the atmosphere my dear friends so in, instead of that in the place of that so try to use hydro hydro power that is the power will be generated with the water use that the power will be generated with the the sun rays the power will be generated with the wind so go for this you no know, alternative solutions as much as possible 
okay keep generating more and more power using these methods so that your consumption of fossil fuels and coal will be reduced and then the emissions also will be cut off so now the energy efficiency improving energy efficiency in homes businesses transportation to reduce energy consumption it means whenever you need switch on the light whenever you don't need switch off the light okay don't use unnecessarily don't put the ac all these things whatever you need unnecessarily don't use all this power this power especially so called electrical energy if you are start using more and more they need to generate more and more power they may be resorting to the practice of using coal again in order to generate more power so that is very bad very bad for the environment already the coal mines itself is created is at a scale devastated you know there are so much earth and they have uh, dug the earth like anything and it's, 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 it's going to be i think it's going to be in the future so it's going to be a, so one one uh, big you know big problems may happen because of you know you are in, you are creating lot of imbalance in the earth under the underneath of the ground underneath of the earth itself okay underneath of the earth whatever is available so it is not meant for us understand always for example in your body there are lot of organs if i remove any one of the organs what do you what do you uh, what do you think about it so will you be quite will you be fit fit enough you are not going to be similarly whatever the whatever the things are there underneath of the water which is not given to you nature has not given to you the meaning of meaning of storing all these things underneath of the water underneath of the uh, you know earth means it is not meant for you whatever is available whatever is available and visible on, on the surface of the earth so they are very much meant for you use them live live your life and let live other other beings also like that you have to continue my dear friends so it's not that you know we have today a lot of technology and we are digging the earth and we are making bore wells we are making a lot of you know the mining we are doing and taking a lot of things outside so all these are actually on uh, on uh, what you can say unnatural practices which may be causing lot of other issues in the future okay right so <clears throat> afforestation reforestation friends what happened first thing is we should not cut we should stop cutting the trees in the forest and all forest or anywhere start cutting start cutting the trees first and then we can of course uh, what we to do is we have, one thing is conservation of the trees second thing is again planting new trees so this is the is called forestation deforestation with which we will try to absorb more co2 or more, more other uh, nitrous oxide and methane also from the atmosphere we can reduce these gases okay this emissions can be absorbed back okay now so there are international agreements which are happening what happened is all the countries put together as i told you this this effort is the combating the global warming is not effort of a particular one country one state or whatever it is a effort cumulative effort of all the other countries entire the world whatever the number of countries they have they, they have to come together always okay so the likewise they made a paris agreement so just making paris agreement is not sufficient okay what is important is you have to put the put them into practice you have to put that into practice so in a so more you know extremely uh, very uh, fastly okay you must uh, speed up you must speed up and hasten the efforts and uh, this is what required at the current timings okay at this timings so all the countries they have to decide and they have to implement the paris agreement what they have made just by doing agreement it is not going to do anything for environment my dear friends okay we need a sincere efforts of all the countries to do this uh, the combating the global warming by cutting off the all emissions into the atmosphere so with which friends so we try to understand today the global warming and effects and its bad consequences and how to combat this global warming so till now we learned about the global warming